In this brief tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download VirtualBox, which is a, a really nice and free uh, virtualization software um, that's uh, maintained by Oracle. Uh, and I'm also going to show you how to download a Kali Linux VM and then load that VM into the VirtualBox uh, software so that you can run Kali Linux as a VM on your Windows computer. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to obviously head on down to our browser uh, and find the uh, VirtualBox official repository. And so that's what this page looks like. And you know, you can get to it by Google, by, you know, Googling VirtualBox. Um, and, you know, the it is should be the first tip. But again, when we're downloading software from the internet, particularly open source software, we need to be very, very careful. Um, and so the you know, first hit's virtualbox.org. And this is this is our site. And so we're going to navigate to uh, downloads, which obviously is this lovely little icon right here. And you are, we're doing this from a Windows machine, so you're going to want Windows hosts, and it's going to start the download process, which I'm going to go ahead and cancel because I have already um, gone ahead and, and pre-downloaded and installed VirtualBox. And so, you know, once you download it, you know, put it on your desktop, uh, you know, double click it, go through the install process. It's all, it's all pretty straightforward, though please, you know, of course, hit me up with any questions as you go through that install process. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a large file, so, you know, it might take a, take a little bit of time to download depending on your connection. All right, and the next thing we need to do is to find the Kali Linux VM. And so this is a little bit different. So, you know, we talked about it in, you know, the first video when we were downloading the Kali Live that we were going to go to Kali.org. I want to make sure we're on the correct correct site because there's lots of different, um, you know, uh, flavors of Kali Linux floating around that uh, folks have modified. So you want to make sure you download from the official repository. Um, but there's a wrinkle here, right? So um, these are all uh, ISOs that aren't pre-built uh, virtual machines. Um, and so, you know, you can't really download straight from the Kali.org page. So we need to go down here and we're looking for the 60-bit 64-bit virtual box version. And we're actually going to get this on Offensive Security's page. So Offensive Security is the, the company that maintains um, Kali Linux, uh, a fantastic security company, particularly great in training and certification. So I, I recommend you take check them out. But this is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be on a different, uh, different site. All right, so now we're on the Offensive Security um, and we can, you know, validate that by, by checking this out and, you know, checking out the cert just like I showed you um, earlier in class. And we're going to scroll down and we've got to pick the right one here. So, you know, this one here is VMware. VMware is, um, there actually is a free version of VMware, but, you know, the it's mainly um, an enterprise grade tool. Uh, it's great, a great upgrade if you really want to get into virtual machines is to go ahead and download um, uh, VMware and pay for it. You know, it's not atrociously expensive, but we also have VirtualBox, which is what we're working with today. And so you wanna, you wanna blow this up, and then you wanna download the 64-bit um, uh, version of Kali Linux. Um, and again, this is a big file. It's uh, 3.6 gigabytes. You know, it's it's going to take a while. So you know, I've already gone ahead and downloaded it. Um, but you know, you just click that button, it starts the download, and uh, then you're good to go. And so, all right, well, first thing we're going to do after download is throw that on your desktop. And so, mine, you can see it automatically opened VirtualBox because it understands that this is um, uh, a virtual appliance. That you know, when I clicked, came over here and clicked on my Kali Linux download. And uh, let's just go ahead, and we're not really need to change anything here. So we're just going to go ahead, and we're going to click. We're going to accept. The, we're going to click import, and we're going to accept the uh, agreement. And now it's importing Kali Linux into VirtualBox. So again, this is this is pretty easy. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and pause the recording here because um, you know this uh, this process is going to take a couple minutes, and we'll pick back up when we're finally loaded into VirtualBox. Okay, now you can see that Kali Linux has been loaded into um, my virtual box. It's uh, right down here, Kali Linux 2020.4. Um, you know, you're not going to see these other virtual machines in your virtual box since you just downloaded it. You know, I've got a few more um, running. And so the first thing we're going to try to do is we're going to try to go up here and click Start. And we'll see what happens. Um, I can tell you it's it probably not going to work, and I'm going to show you why um, in just a second. Okay, so it failed to open a session for the virtual machine. And so we can go down here, you know, that's annoying, you know, what the heck's going on. We can click on details um, and we can see the implementation of the USB uh, 2.0 controller is not found. And so, you know, I could go through the process of like downloading other stuff and configuring this to make it work. Or since we don't need USB for this class, um, I can go into settings. Okay, here, go into settings. 
and we can kind of go on down here to USB and we can just say uh, unclick enable USB controller um, and then click OK. All right, now that we've disabled USBs, uh, let's go ahead and try to start it again and see what happens. This looks a little bit more promising. All right, so we don't want advanced options, uh, you know, for this class. So we're just going to click the top option there. And you can see my mouse works within the virtual machine. So check that yours does. You know, sometimes it doesn't, but, uh, you know, it should work. VirtualBox runs, runs pretty well. All right, there you have it. Now, Kali is loaded, but we need to log in. And so the default credentials for uh, Kali uh, starting in 2020 are Kali Kali. So type in Kali and Kali, all lowercase. And we're up. That's it. Uh, go ahead and click around, make sure things work. Um, you know, your uh, internet actually should work. And for this, you know, for later classes, I'm going to teach you how to turn this off when we start doing stuff like malware analysis. Um, but, uh, you know, for this class, we do need internet access. And so there's no point in trying to disable that. And it should, it should route through your host machine, no problem. So we'll go ahead and we'll just test that. What did it do? Yes, I, I realize the irony of searching DuckDuckGo using Google. Um, but you can see that the internet works uh, just fine. We have we have internet access, uh, pretty streamlined, nothing you had to set up to get there. Um, all right, and then the other thing that's good to check out is just to pop open a text editor and blah, blah, blah. Make sure that your, you know, whatever keyboard you're using works just fine. Mine does. Um, and then when you're done, you can just kind of go up here to machine. And so there's a couple of different things we can do, right? We can we can take a snapshot. So this is useful if we're you're making a lot of changes uh, to stuff that's going on. So, you know, taking the snapshot's a good idea. Um, but, uh, you know, in this case, you know, we're just going to go ahead and close this guy. Oh, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to shut this down. All right. So we, in this case, want to go ahead and shut down. So we're going to log out of Kali and shut down. And that's it. Virtual machines powered off, and you're good to go for the rest of the class. This tutorial was prepared by the Center for Cybersecurity and Privacy Protection at Cleveland Marshall College of Law, Cleveland State University.